Dr. Hasni Mohammed in the studio of NewIndiaTV.com. We welcome him. Dr. Hasni Mohammed is world renowned educationist. He is propounder of integrated holistic approach of education. He says education should be potential based. Students should not be considered as one single uniform lot. Students learn based on their own potentials, their learning capacity. He practices this potential based system of learning or system of education in his education institution that is Adani International School which is in Malaysia. He is also guiding force and a patron for various educational institutions, schools, around 2000 schools spread across Malaysia and Indonesia. We would like to discuss with Dr. Hasni Muhammad about his potential based learning system. Dr. Hasni Muhammad, welcome to study. Please brief uh, about uh, the advantages of potential based education. Alhamdulillah, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. When we talk about uh, potential based uh, education system, which is uh, now we have been practicing it in our integrated holistic education system, mm -hmm. uh, it means uh, human uh, being can be developed not based on their age, but based on their potential, okay. their capability, their ability. Mm -hmm. So, uh, before we can even uh, embark on this uh, system, system uh, we would like to uh, explain that mm. uh, based on the conventional system and also the holistic education system, yeah. that uh, normally uh, the conventional system referred to uh, intellectual, uh, mm. emotional, mm. spiritual and physical. Hmm. But when we talk about holistic education, we are talking about uh, the mind, the heart, uh, the spirit, hmm. the soul and the physical body. Then we hmm. can uh, enhance further hmm. from four potential to 23 type of potential. Hmm. So what are those four potentials? Excuse me. Okay. Uh, if, if, if we look into the, uh, the potential of the mind, hmm. we have uh, six intellectual faculties mm -hmm. that need to develop and yes. enhance. Uh, the, the power of critical thinking, yeah. uh, the power of imagination, visualization, hmm. uh, the power of memory, hmm. the power of perception, yes. the power of uh, willpower and okay. intuition. Yeah, okay. So with that, uh, 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 with a proper uh, education process, we hmm. can enhance those potential. Okay. Yeah. Right, sir. So, you said uh, the conventional system considers age, yes. whereas your system is focused on potentials. Yes, yes. How you do this? Yes. Uh, we have uh, within the system, we have uh, an activity called mm. PADI, P -A -D -I. Uh -huh. uh, so number one, at any entry point, okay. uh, the children uh, that want to study in our school or education center, we have to do profiling. Okay. So we have uh, assessment, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of person uh, that uh, will mm -hmm. uh, go into our education process, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of uh, character, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of uh, competency okay. that the, the child mm -hmm. uh, at any entry point will mm -hmm. come to our school. Okay. Yeah? So with that profiling, mm -hmm. uh, we will know and understand the achievement at that particular time. Okay. Okay. From there, we will develop. D mm -hmm. is the development according to their mm -hmm. capability, their talent, their ability, their potential. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. And then from there, uh, we want mm -hmm. to have a team, uh, not only in the school, but we want uh, the parent involvement uh, okay. at, the, at the same time when mm -hmm. they go back home. Mm -hmm. yes. You see, in India, yes. there is a system. Yes. If a student has achieved 15 years of age, yes. then only he can uh, take the examination of 10th standard yes. or the examination of uh, yes. matric. Yes, okay. 
So, you say that a child of 15 years age can appear for even 10 plus 2. Yes. Is it possible in your system and uh, is the government of Malaysia allowing that? Yes. Uh, in our system, as I mentioned earlier, hmm. uh, it, it has to go based on their potential. Yes. So, a child who start ahead, stay ahead. Mm -hmm. So, because in our system, we have uh, a continuous education process from mm -hmm. nursery, uh, mm -hmm. play school, preschool, uh, mm -hmm. primary school, secondary school, up to tertiary level. Mm -hmm. So, we manage to identify the potential of the child mm -hmm. at a very young age. Okay. So, Alhamdulillah, uh, we will develop according to their potential. Mm -hmm. And we have children as mm -hmm. young as uh, 18 years old, okay. uh, even embark on the PhD program. Wonderful. Uh, in chemical engineering, mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, in, in at the University of Cambridge. Mm -hmm. uh, student at the age of 18, uh, mm -hmm. they have already completed ACCA, mm -hmm. okay. uh, Associ Association of Stifat Chartered Accountants, mm -hmm. uh, and so on. So, uh, from our experience, uh, mm -hmm. we could see uh, by using uh, another mechanism called FIT, F -I -T, mm -hmm. so we have uh, some flexibility mm -hmm. uh, in in the implementing of the education process. F I T. F I T is uh, acronym for uh, flexible. Flexible. Uh, individualized. Individualized. Yes, based on their potential. Okay. And technologized. Technologized. Yeah, we incorporate okay. uh, technology into okay. the system. So you have integrated technology also. Yes, okay. Yes. So the most important thing, as as I mentioned, the pot the real potential here is the heart. Yes. Because the target of the holistic education is the heart. Okay. So, if we can nurture the children mm -hmm. based on the pedagogy of the heart, love mm -hmm. and care, we could see the children can be okay. enhanced according to their potential. Okay. Uh, Dr. Hasni Muhammad, uh, to impart the potential yes. based learning, yes. we need to have special training for teacher, yes. special yes. pedagogical system, yes. and this will not function in a classroom type situation. Yes. How you will manage this? Okay. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, within the holistic uh, mm. education system, mm. and this system is very uh, friendly and compatible. Mm -hmm. So, it can be implemented uh, in the formal education system, which is mm. in the class, okay. uh, informal education, which is outside the class. Mm -hmm. So, we have activities uh, okay. at the sports complex, mm -hmm. you know, at the uh, cafeteria, mm. at the field and the uh, agricultural uh, center right? mm -hmm. and the other one uh, if you look into into the system so beside uh, we have that flexibility uh, mm. what, is, what is important here it can also be implemented in a non-formal education okay. where they can do it at home okay so parent can be involved okay uh, in so involvement of parent yes. involvement of teachers, teachers. involvement of the school yes. and involvement of student the community community is yes. required to implement yes. your uh, system of yes. potential based yes. learning yes. you see if a student uh, suppose he is in seventh standard mm -hmm. and if uh, he is showing the potentials that he can uh, he is able to uh, learn the uh, syllabus or curri curriculum of ninth standard or eighth, eighth standard mm -hmm. So, he is promoted to 8th standard or how you do this? Okay. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, when we manage to identify hmm. uh, the potential, the ability and the capability of that particular child, hmm. so we will develop uh, a very strong foundation for that. Mm -hmm. So, we believe we have to develop the foundation. Mm -hmm. It is not just for promotion, mm -hmm. but we will promote according to their potential. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what what I'm going to tell you here is that mm -hmm. uh, the most important thing, mm. the foundation of that uh, particular mm. uh, subject matter, at the same time, mm. the emotional and also the character building, mm -hmm. they must be ready before mm -hmm. we can promote. Because we need to develop a balance of okay. uh, personality. It is not just cognitive development, yeah. but also the character building, which is very important. So we manage to okay. have that uh, instrument to identify uh, those kind of potential. Yeah, you see, characters yes. may differ uh, 
from age to age and uh, from uh, standard to standard like uh, character of uh, an, a student uh, a fifth standard could be different from the character of uh, a student who is in tenth standard. Yes, yes. These potentials are based on character or his or her academic excellence. Okay. Uh, in, in the holistic education system, we uh, assess hmm. the potential of the child not only on the subject matter, on hmm. the examination, yes. academic Academics. performance, but we measure hmm. the hmm. character building. Okay. Because we believe uh, uh, common character like mm. system of belief, you believe okay. how you define yourself, mm. the self-image, mm. uh, how you uh, look into uh, self-confidence, mm -hmm. uh, uh, emotionally stable. Okay. So we are looking into the readiness okay. of that particular promotion. Okay. So we look from different angles. But what about uh, scholastic skills and academic skills? Of course. Hmm. Scholastic skill, uh, academic skill need to be integrated okay. because the arts of doing things is very hmm. important. The yes. arts of managing life, yeah. the, the arts of communication, how you interact mm -hmm. with, with other children. Mm -hmm. and, in, and in Islam, it's very uh, detailed. We are looking into mm -hmm. uh, the age of poverty. Mm -hmm. When they, they reach, reach the level uh, of poverty at different age. Mm -hmm. So it shows that mm -hmm. the capability and the ability of the child mm -hmm. is different from one child to the other. Okay. So we have to look in the holistic way mm -hmm. uh, when we want to implement the system. Is it a workable model everywhere in the world or it could be done only in Adani schools, Malaysia? Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, I think I believe mm -hmm. uh, education is something uh, which is the foundation for life. And it is a universal? Universal. We have been okay. implementing this in Malaysia, in Indonesia, mm -hmm. in the Middle Eastern country, and now we are embarking mm -hmm. uh, to be, to implement the system in, in India. Okay. So, Alhamdulillah, I could see, even though it is uh, the first in India, I could see mm -hmm. uh, from the performance of the children, uh, mm. we managed to identify. Okay. That we can Where you are trying to implement in India? Yeah. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, uh, at the moment we have started in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. Maybe we will go uh, according to the needs uh, of mm -hmm. that. Where in Bangalore? In Jayanaga. Brainy Stars. Brainy Stars. Mm -hmm. So Brainy Stars International School, Brainy Stars Montessori. Okay. Uh, uh, preschool and so mm -hmm. on. So uh, I think uh, I believe not only at the preschool and primary school mm -hmm. level, we can enhance this okay. further to the higher education. Uh, secondary school, mm -hmm. upper secondary and finally to the library. But in so India we have one problem as uh, I said you in the beginning. Uh, a student of 15 years is eligible for the uh, for appearing 10th standard. Yes, yes. So this law and this binding is there in India. How you will resolve this? I think uh, based on our experience, mm -hmm. uh, uh, when we embark the, the five curriculum mm. into the system, the core curriculum, which is mm. based on system of belief, character building, mm -hmm. core curriculum, where we have uh, martial arts, mm. uh, m uh, karate, taekwondo, mm. horse riding, eh? mm. archery, and extra curriculum, we have social studies. We need to cover the, uh, the local curriculum okay. uh, based on the local need, but we have to add in. Okay. International. For example, you can take assessment on IGCSE, okay. International General Certificate of Secondary Education, right. which you don't need to base on age. And so you said yes. uh, a student of your uh, school, yes. which is of 18 years, yes, yes. has completed uh, PhD. PhD from which university? Uh, actually, at the age of 18, he started. Ah. Uh, doing PhD at, okay. the, uh, at the University of Cambridge. And University U of Cambridge. Yes, United so, Cambridge. University of Cambridge uh, allows uh, yes. 18 years yes. uh, student to join PhD program. Yes. Okay, fine. So, this is based on the British uh, curriculum. curriculum. It's not yes. based on age, but based on okay. their potential. Yes, we need to cover the local needs, okay. the local curriculum, because mm -hmm. We want to prepare the uh, good citizen for the country, the good okay. leader for the country. Okay. But at the same time, we have to enhance the child according okay. to their potential. Fine. Yes. What type of preparation is required to implement uh, potential-based learning? Yes. 
uh, on the academic uh, side, side. Uh, we need to consolidate okay. uh, the curriculum, mm -hmm. the local curriculum and international curriculum. Okay. Even international curriculum, we have the choice. You can okay. take in of Cambridge, okay. we have London University, you have Edexcel, okay. we have IB, okay. International Baccalaureate. Uh, mm -hmm. So we, we have to study. Mm -hmm. uh, the lo local international curriculums that we can consolidate mm -hmm. and integrate at the same time. Okay. So, because if you look into the curriculum, mm -hmm. uh, the curric local curriculum and international curriculum, for example, in India, CBSE, mm -hmm. is almost the same okay. like IJCSE. Right. But maybe the approach of the implementation is different. Okay. Uh, so the way I look at it, we, the school must have the mm. uh, expertise. So, okay. But that, that is not difficult. We okay. can train. Right. Our, our team mm -hmm. to, to implement the system. Okay. Yes. Uh, you see, uh, this particular system requires the child-centric teaching system. Yes. Okay. So, do you feel any problem of discipline in case of child-centric uh, education? Okay. Uh, if you look uh, carefully, mm -hmm. Uh, within the conventional system. Mm -hmm. uh, when I say conventional system, is uh, beside holistic education system. Okay. So normally, uh, educationalists refer to uh, teacher-centered or child-centered. Child -centered. Uh, but to me, the most important thing here is not the human being, it's the heart, it's the heart-centered. Okay. So when we say heart-centered, we go back to basic. Okay. Believe in God. Okay. Where God is the creator and the sustainer of the universe, okay. uh, regardless of race, color, and religion. Okay. So it can be implemented by uh, purifying the heart. Mm -hmm. uh, how we can uh, inculcate uh, sincerity, okay. ikhlas. Oh, yeah. Because with sincerity, I think it will give uh, a very important potential. Mm. Because if the teacher is sincere, or the murabi, the educator is sincere, the child is sincere, I think uh, to convey uh, the message of uh, truth, mm. to impart the knowledge mm. from the heart to the heart will happen. When that thing happens, mm. I think education can take place okay. based on their potential. So th our biggest challenge now, right now is, yes, physically you might be fit. If your heart is sick, mm. then education process will not be uh, efficient. Uh, in its implementation. You have been talking about heart only. Yes. Do you think only the potential of heart is required for potential based learning or even there is a role of mind in this system? Yes. Uh, if you really understand uh, within the holistic edu education system, holistic education system, I always mention the focus is the mind, mm. the heart, the soul, the spirit and physical body. Mm -hmm. But the target is the heart. Mm. Uh, the ultimate target is heart-centered, okay. uh, uh, not mind-centered. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is complication. But it is said that scholastic skills and yes. academic skills have direct connection with mind. Of course. Yes. Yes. So you need to train mind also for yes. the potential-based learning. Yes. Uh, the 23 potential, including the mind. Okay. We don't neglect the mind because the mind involves thinking. Mm. Uh, decision making, mm -hmm. problem solving and okay. so on. But the heart is the guiding uh, principle. Force. Yes, guiding the, the guiding force. force that can, you know, uh, uh, put everything in place. Right. And then the soul, uh, the spirit, and of course the physical body just to need to act based on uh, the pedagogy of the mind uh, and the heart and mm. also the soul. Okay. So this is uh, a close relationship. There is communication. Yeah. between the heart, the mind and the soul. Thank you yes. so much uh, yeah. Dr. Hasni Muhammad. Thank you very much.